What is going on guys, it is Bonte and today we are back on GTA as you can see with another video, I haven't done one in a while and today an insane DLC just dropped, import, export, DLC and some new vehicles right there, Huracan and kind of like the extra, not the Jaguar but XKR, but, but um, this is what we're more interested about is the Benny's original vehicles right here, it's kind of really confused with this, now what you have to do is get this, the stock elegy as you can see, if we go on to down, down to the stock quick example because it's down it's not here the r33 is not here you have to upgrade it so you have to go on to elegy here and as you can see the r35 is a stock and then you customize it to be like the r33 which is really kind of confusing but we're gonna go ahead and buy this vehicle right now we're gonna deliver it to this garage right now we're gonna wait a bit and while I wait, I'm just going to show you guys uh, just a bit of other things that are kind of in this DLC. And now I, I haven't really looked. I've just had a quick, you know, kind of check. So that's the Huracan, definitely right there. That is the long wheelbase Jaguar. I can't really remember the name right now. But the XJ220, I believe. I, I might have got the name wrong. I believe. Uh, I just remember that car. And it's, uh, but anyway. Let's see, what's that cash and carry? Is there anything down on here? Yes, look at these beasts. You got the Ram cars from the Fast and Furious 5, I believe. Then you got like the, the truck with, with this like dagger of like, a, oh my God, I can't wait to see. And obviously this is just a hefty amount to spend. And what I'm saying about the Wasteland, uh, as I said on Twitter, if you don't follow me on there, make sure you do, up on the OG, is that this will definitely be what you put the vehicles back on. Uh, hopefully this is what the import the Xbox DLC will be like. I haven't actually played myself, but I just wanted to get on, get a video done of this vehicle. R33 in GT Online, can you believe it? Then we have this kind of like little... I don't know, like a traveler kind of, but it's just like a ghetto, like, I don't know. It's got a turret and everything. Then the most expensive, like, little thing you'd expect is this, which is like a Blizz Aqua. So it's a quad bike that basically, I believe, most likely goes on water if we kick on it here. Uh, pretty much does look like, yeah, it, it just folded up the, uh, the wheels there so you can go, like, on the water. Now, the Rocket Voltic, as you can see, this looks like a beast, a rocket, a rocket on a vehicle. That is a lot. Look at that interior, though. That is insane. But you got the rocket on the back as well. You got the roller cage. That is insane. Now, we're going to go also have a look at this one, which is like the... I can't remember what it is right now. I know what the vehicle's... Uh, just type in the comments below because I'm just I'm just confused. I'm just so hyped about this. So that is everything on Warsaw Cash and Carry up to this point. Everything up here is new. So, uh, anything else, South San Andreas? No, I have no idea how you get the Comet. And I'm still waiting for this uh, R35 to be delivered. But there we go. It's been delivered. Right. Okay. So we're going to get into this now. I do have an I-35. No, I don't have it in this garage. So we are going to go down, down to Benny's right now and see how this is going to work out. Because it's kind of confusing because you have to go down to Benny's in order to customize it. But it's an R35. But you're kind of downgrading it in a way. If you, you, some of you car guys will understand what I'm on about because this is a newer generation of um, GTR basically, and it doesn't make sense for you to go take an R35 down to Benny's to make it an R33, unless you wanted to kind of make your car replica of an old style that is rare or something. But as you can see, GTA Online is quite hectic right at the moment. I've got players all around in this uh, area now. Obviously, this is going to be just an uncut video. I'm just trying to get this video out as soon as possible. So, you know, just skip between the parts of where... Uh, wait, am I even heading towards Benny's? I believe so. I'm probably going the wrong way. I haven't played GTA in ages. So, so yeah, this is quite confusing. I could have just took my uh, other R35. But this is going to look insane. And hopefully, it's not more than, like, six and a half million. I mean, it definitely won't be. But just, like, the DLC, there's quite a lot. And it's just, it's just too expensive, to be honest. Even though I've got, like, I had, like, 20 mil. So I'm going to uh, play a bit, see how this goes. And anyway, we're literally right here at Benny's. And we're going to take this in to here. And see how this uh, works out with customization. And I know I'm dying as much as you are to see this customization on this R33. Basically, you know, Skyline. Okay, upgrade. Okay, it's less than a mil. It's less than a mil. Okay, I'll take I'll take I've got, I've got a... Uh... Oh boy, let's see this. Right. Oh my god. Right, let's see the rear. You can already hear the sound. I'm gonna just let you hear the sound. Can... 
that is insane. If we can get, a, oh, I'm speechless. You guys don't know. The last update that has been like this has been like the good one, Sultan RS and the Banshee. Okay, um, front canards. Okay, we don't want that. It's too much of. Uh, I'm so excited for this. You guys don't even know. I think we're gonna go. I don't know. I think we're gonna go without the carbon splitter. Okay, what's that? Black extended diffuser. I think we're gonna go with that. Seven grand. Okay, rear bumpers. This is insane. You guys don't even know. I think it looks better without a rear diffuser. But for the purpose of this video, I believe I'm kind of wanting to get it down. I'm gonna get the rear. Okay, bumper accessories. Um, you guys don't know how much I'm excited for this. I'm more excited than the the previous one, Sultan RS, and that. Uh, so, okay, D badge grill. Remove grill mesh. Remove bumper mesh. And remove bumper and mesh. I want to kind of um. Let's see. I want to have. I want to have like that. I think actually no. I like that D badged grill. Actually no. I think the stock looks nice with the little badge. But then the D badge does look nice. But look at that stance though. The wheels. Oh my god. The wheels. The tires are so wide. That is insane. So I'm gonna go with that. And in the coolers, obviously we can't customize that. But I kind of wanna. All right. So we're gonna go with something just to show you guys. Actually, I'm going to go with that. Intercoolers. Uh, see what... You guys can just pause and see what intercoolers we can get. So, I don't know if I want to get the that ring on it. Because it doesn't look as good. But, I believe... I'm just going to leave it stock. I believe... Actually, no. I'm going to go with the logo monster. Um, chassis. Headlight trim. Headlight trim. Whoa. Oh, so we can get like a turbo intake. Possibly on the lights. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. Because, well, we won't have lights, will we? So I kind of want the lights uh, still. So door, carbon. Ooh, that is nice. Carbon wind deflectors, fenders. Here we go. Where are they at? Where, where are they at? Oh, boy. Nah. Oh, boy. That is amazing. No. <laughs> if we could only extend it a bit more out. Okay, so that is definitely going on. I'm not a fan of like the, of the secondary color. I like it to be the same color like without the fenders. Engine block. Okay, so just going to show you guys it. I'm not really going to purchase it. Because I kind of want to, you know, save a bit of money. And, I, you know, I don't want to quite spend it on uh, just uh, this. Because it's not really exterior. So, um, you guys have had a look at that. Cam cover. will probably be just different. Oh, so we've got the exposed ones as well. Uh, strut brace. It's just, it's kind of uh, slightly the same, I believe, as um, the previous ones, obviously. But uh, EMS, of course, what was that? Engine, tu engine tunes? That's something new. Whoa, hold up. That is amazing. <laughs> Engine tunes. That is definitely something new. Tell me if that... Okay, okay. I, I kind of uh, give you guys a bit of a peek there. Okay, so exhaust. This is the big part. Twin twin uh, titanium exhaust. Twin titanium tuner exhaust. So we're obviously going to go with... Obviously, the bigger the better. <laughs> obviously, with exhaust. As you guys know, grill. Um, let's see. We've got carbon grill surround. Um... I kind of want to make it match. Does that match? I think... Alright. Quickly just go to hood accessories. Um, let's see. Uh, hood accessories. Hood accessories. Just kind of go in slow-mo. And just uh, just pause between these parts. Because I'm trying to get this done quickly. ASAP. Okay. We're going to go off those kind of uh, carbon... Um, let's see. If we, which ones we got? Straight hood catches. We got... We're going to go off those. Hood. Oh, 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 ho, oh, oh. oh, so that's like an R34, like, customized, uh, what was it, V-Spec 2, I believe, kind of hood, right there, even though this isn't an R34, but still, we can kind of make it like it from the front, um, imagine if we could get the R34 bump on the front, that'd be amazing, kind of look, no, nah, it doesn't quite look like it, but, okay, so, I'm not quite a faction, um, let's see, I think I might go with the carbon performance hood, uh, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go off that. Does look pretty beast. I kind of don't want to make it too kind of uh, too much. Trim design. Okay, sunstrip. Of course we want the sunstrip. It makes it look much better. Black trim color. Dash. Um, oh boy, you can spend carbon dash dials. Oh boy. Oh boy, you can. Holy shit! Look at that dial. Nah, if those dials work, this will be the best DLC ever. Imagine. So like, if the rev counter on the dash, as you can see, the top light like, kind of ring lights across the kind of rev counter, if they work with it, that will be amazing. Okay, carbon 
Carbon doors. Where are the carbon doors? Carbon doors. Do we want that? I kind of want... Uh, doors look nice. Because it's nice and simple. Interior. But then that's kind of like a race car. Oh, it's... I'm going to just go race car. Proper race car right now, quickly. Okay. Carbon seats. Oh, my God. I've just realized I dropped the, like, 15, 15 mil now. Oh, well. Um, anyway, we're going to see here. Uh, let's see what... Ooh, I like that. I kind of like that one. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's too race car-ish. We kind of want to go with a simple... Uh, let's see what we got here. Once again, I am just skipping through these really quickly. So, sorry about that. You know, I'm, I think I like that one. I, can't, I just like it's kind of mix and match. That's kind of too much, but it's kind of race car-ish. I don't know. I think we're going to go with that one. That looks nice. I'm a fan of the kind of silver and the front. Okay. The dial color. We want to get a kind of blue. Light blue. Oh, we got red. That would look nice. Okay, light blue. Light blue. Kind of that type of blue. Uh, marina blue. Racing blue. Oh, ooh, ultra blue. That is, that is a definite. <laughs> oh, roll cage. Here we go. Um, padded roll cage to the max. There we go. Because race cam. We are still going on. It is still going on. It's over 10 minutes. Oh, my God, boys. Xenon lights looks like a beast. Neons, we're not going to quite... Neons, I mean, everybody knows what neons look like. Okay, this is where it gets for real. White strips, black stripes, uh, not tonight, pizza boy. Ah, that's a Fast and Furious reference. Oh, my God. Roxy, you are such... Oh, my God. So, it's a reference to um, Fast and Furious 1, where the road's closed and, obviously... Uh, the pizza, the pizza man can't drive through because there's a street race going on. Midnight Racer, that is the one we are definitely going to put on. Even though it kind of doesn't matter with this retro kind of like um, old school Redwood Racing look. Um, okay, I know which one we're going to go through. Midnight Racer, I mean everyone, you will see everyone rocking this one because everybody knows what it's from. Okay, um, side view mounted plates where? Remove front plate. Uh, you see... I think we're going to remove the front plate. I think it's just better, to be honest. Where's the Bond? Found it. 1,000 horsepower. So, like, see, I got that plate. I should put Bond. Yeah, we're going to put 1,000 horsepower for this one vehicle today. Respray. Okay. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so we need to change the hood. We need to change the hood really quick. Really quick right here. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood? We need to... Hood accessories. Hood. We need to kind of change it to put it to the stock. Now, I don't know if we can change the color of the hood. Hopefully we can. Wait, I want to kind of change it so... Right, that's the kind of... That is perfect. You can see... Oh my god, I'm so hyped for this. You guys don't even know. Oh my god. So, matte white. Okay, so that's a kind of... Actually, no, let me see. Secondary color. Can we change that? Yes, we can. Holy shit. Look at that. White. Okay. Um, kind of want a metallic... Metallic uh, gray. So, let's see. Shadow silver. No, that's too much. I think I might just make it white, but it's got to be like kind of whitish, you know, grayish kind of silver. Um, it, we're going to go through it again. Sorry about that, but we're going to go on to... That is perfect. Silver. Perfect. Silver. Metallic silver. Okay. Metallic. Where is it? Silver. Yo! Look at that! Tell me that does not... Okay, it's a bit too much silver. I don't know. It's kind of, um, it's kind of on the lines of it. Okay, so we're going to go here with uh, blue. Should we go blue or should we just go black? We're going to go blue. Ultra, is there like an ultra blue as well here? Okay. Ultra blue for here. Crew emblem. We're going to stick that NOS emblem low. And look at that. Join the crew. OGTM. You guys know. If you guys aren't part of it, make sure you join the crew. Roof accessories. Um, Let's see. Carbon vent. Ah, we're going to go with that way. I don't believe the original one did have a top uh, vent on. Uh, Vortex. Uh, neither did it have this. Carbon roof. It would look nice, but... It, it, it just won't look the best, to be honest, because we're trying to make the replica right here. We're trying to make the... Well, it's a GTT, remember that, guys, um, from the original. It's not actually a, a GTR. They made it to be a GTR within the film. Okay, spoilers. Now, Rocket Bunny spoilers, that is what we want. But for today, we're going to obviously make the replica, and we're going to go with a big wing today to make it... That is pretty much it. That is pretty much the wing that, I believe... Either Driftwing, uh, I believe it isn't quite a... Uh, we don't want nah, that, that's too much. Oh, Extreme Racer Wing. Oh, boys. Oh, okay. So, we're going to make it, obviously, a replica. And we're going to go... So, it makes it R33 with that. We're going to go... Um, that wing. That wing is a kind of minuscule one than the other ones that are huge. 
competition suspension. Did that even lower it? Let me see. Just, yeah, just a bit. Okay, transmission. Turbo. Now i got to go make sure. Oh, shit. We don't want to jump out. Wheels. Oh, okay. Beast boat. No, we don't want those. We need to get some quick. Okay, I know. what T-37s. You guys know. T-37s. We're going to go here. And there we go. Endo V2. Now we're going to color them in. What color were the wheels? I can't remember. But we're going to go with black for now. Pretty pretty close, right? Uh, for, I, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were black. No, they probably weren't black. Bulletproof tires. Tire smoke. We're going to go blue to match it. And windows. Ooh, should we tint it? You see, I kind of want to. I kind of wanted to to see everything inside, but I don't want to be seen. Okay, now it'd be nice if we could kind of extend that. And we're about to hop out here. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This is insane. So is it? I think. Let me test if it's all. It's definitely all wheel drive. So that's for certain. So that's good. That's a good sign. You can. You can't. Let me see if you can double clutch. So obviously you can't double clutch in an all-wheel drive car, but that is pretty much it. That is as close as you can get to kind of R34, and that is insane. I can't believe this G DLC. If you guys can't believe it, make sure to drop that like button, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. I'm probably going to do a couple more GTA videos as well, so make sure to see that. And this is insane. I'm literally just going to play about with this car in GTA Online. So hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the next video. It's been your boy Bond. Peace.